Hey, this is Anthony Thrivsley. You can watch this side and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Laguna Seca 4 race suit available at Revzilla.com. This is the Laguna Seca 4, the fourth generation of Laguna family race suits from Dianese. Dianese, this is your best one. Motorcycle, riding, track day, racing enthusiast, this is their best one. For 2017, they've taken the Laguna 3, which had a different name, and the Laguna 4 just kind of blows it away without changing the price. You're still looking in the mid-12s. But ultimately, this is the most technical suit currently on the market from Dianese before you get to the Kailami, which is their kangaroo suit. If we look at it compared to the old Laguna Seca, which again was the same price, you are now getting CE Level 2 armor, shoulders, elbows, hips, and knees, upgrade over CE Level 1 in the previous version. You're also getting a 280% increase in perforation in the perf version of this suit. There was a perf version and a non-perf version, and now there is so much perf, it's insane, 280% increase. And you can see it, it is localized perf, it is away from the seams. You're also getting the new asymmetrical shoulder sliders that are fully integrated here. You can see it's no longer co-injected. Aluminum, there are no bolts here, there's no line. These are 30% larger as well. And the other thing about this suit is they've added CE level two hip armor that didn't exist previously, or exist previously. So if you see it, there's a little bit more width in the hips. That's that CE level two addition they're adding on. The other thing I almost forgot is the removable, replaceable, elbow sliders, again, that they have now brought to the Laguna Seca 4. You still have a titanium hard part, which is not removable, but in the area that's gonna get the highest use, you now have a removable, replaceable slider. So all in, this suit has leapt forward. The only negatives I really have about it, I love that they did a perfed and a non perf version. The previous version had a short and tall lineup, so you could, you could have nuanced fitment. Now, Am I really dying that there's no shorter tall versions of the new Laguna Seca 4? I'm not. I think there are going to be some certain riders out there that love the ability to tweak that sizing that they have now lost, but that is part of the long tail of demand. But ultimately, I don't really have a ton of gripe with this suit. I don't really have anywhere I looked at it and I said, ah, that's where they missed other than some of the sizing. And I will talk to you briefly. We might as well dive into sizing. There is no short and tall sizes. Ultimately, it is standard sizes. They've added more elastication they didn't have on the previous version. I have Disco Donnie to my left, that's right. Five foot nine. He's got a 39 and a half inch chest, 160 pounds. He's wearing a size 50, which if you look at it, he fills this out from the waist down fine. Stop making dirty jokes. But from the waist up, he has a 39 and a half inch chest. He has a little bit of extra room. Now, I will say you can add a back protector here. That's going to beef it up a little bit more. But again, this is going to be a race fit, and this would be his size. We put Hyvis Brian in it. He didn't even come close because Hyvis Brian's about a 41, 41 and a half inch chest. And you can see how the sizing works here. So keep that in mind. Remember, there's no shorts and talls. Again, it is a race fit. It's comfortable for Disco here to be standing up and down in it. But again, it's engineered to be most comfortable when you're in the tuck on the bike itself. Use the size chart, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. We're always here to help you, and I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to Survival on our YouTube channel, leave us your comments, request your feedback on the Laguna Seca 4. Now, if we dive in, other nuance, new Dianese logos. We've talked about the perforated, localized perforation, again, away from the seam. S1 stretch, collarbone, armpit, all the way down the arm will flow air, allow for mobility. Again, this is 1.3 mil grade tutu leather from Dianese. It has a premium hand to it. Again, outside of Kangaroo, it's one of the more premium leathers. Right now, there is not a Dianese suit using D-skin leather. They are not using that right now on a high-end suit, but I'd be interested to see in the next few years if they come back with a D-skin suit. For right now, tutu is their highest end before you get into Kangaroo. If you work your way down, you're seeing the entire localized perforation scheme just get out of control and be everywhere. S1 paneling into the crotch, going down the knee, you're going to see elastication at the top of the knee, new school pucks, which are fully replaceable as you work your way all the way down. And remember, behind this knee, you're gonna see GP style CE level two armor that goes all the way down the shin as well. Back up to the wrist, auto locking zippers here. Notice I open that up, I open it fully. This is a fully removable sanitized liner. Notice the micro, the micro Velcro there. Again, it will get funky if you're racing and riding in it all the time. You wanna be able to pull that out. That is the feature of a more high-end race suit. I'm not gonna battle that. It's meant to be tight. You have to kind of wriggle it a little bit. 
Turn to face that away for me, Mr. Banks. If we look at him from the left, you're gonna see the new asymmetrical 30% larger aluminum slider up on the shoulder. Again, four colors here in this suit. This is the black fluoro, which is always the most popular. If he raises his arm, notice elastication under the arm, down along the lat, across the back. Dainese calls it triaxial. They could have perforated, but with the amount of other perf on the suit, I don't think they need it. I'm not gonna dock him a ton of points. As you work your way down towards the elbow, you're gonna notice, remember, CE level two armor underneath, you have the titanium slider, the removable, replaceable PU slider here, again, as you wear through that. And then again, you have that CE level two all the way down the arm as well. Moving to the hips, remember, if you have massive hips, this is gonna get a little tighter for you, but that's because you have that CE level two armor in the hip. Working your way down, big Dionese logo. Notice how the S1 stretch works its way into the backside of the calf. There's an entry and exit point. There's also an expansion panel, and he's got suit to boot going here. is still the only manufacturer that makes suits that go over top of those boots that have the female Velcro on the inside. Turn backwards for me there, base. If he turns backwards for me, that's the third name I've called you in this video. We're just going through all of them today. If we look, you're gonna see this is the 3D bubble, lightweight mesh. It's wicking, it's meant to integrate with his helmet. Along the back of the hump, it's no longer perforated, but now it takes a hydration pouch, which the previous Laguna did not do. Working our way down, lots and lots of additional perf, Dionese Demon logoing, tailbone protection, double layer of leather in the seat, and you work your way down over the backside. Notice the medial entry and exit points over top of suit to boot. And again, you can always wear the suit inside of boots, depending on your race boots if they're not Dionese, but again, they do have that special feature to be able to be suit to boot. And if you look at the backsides of the elbows here too, micro elastication going all the way up, and the new shoulder sliders are asymmetrical, and they're just badass. Come back around to the front for me. Underneath this, remember that full liner is removable. He can absolutely add Dionese chest protection. He can add a Dionese full back protector, taking it to CE level two, two level. It does not take the Dionese, it does not have the Dionese D airbag system. Specific suits and specific jackets will have that system. This is a standalone. Remember, you can't add an airbag later to these. But ultimately, all in, this suit leapt forward. It was a leap over the last version of Laguna Seca. Ultimately, the price did not change. And when products leap forward in both style, protection, comfort, feature, and the price doesn't change, that's when we high five manufacturers and saying, you're doing motorcyclists a solid because ultimately you're making products that are better, that are not just getting more expensive for expensive sake. Thank you, Dionese. You did well. Run it up the flagpole. You knocked this one out of the park. The next step in your journey is click the info button, the desktop, the mobile device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detail breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us. Revzilla on our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with our opinion of the latest and greatest in the moto universe. I'm Anthony for Disco Donnie. We'll see you next time.